welcome to my channel so um today i'm actually going somewhere uh special i hate it when i say special all the time but it's actually uh i'm, I'm feeling really nervous right now and my husband's right next to me taking me to this place um i am finally going to go get my vaccine COVID-19 vaccine and um, right now in Korea actually um, we're going by age what well, we did in the beginning and it was um, well obviously people in um, involved in the in the medicine area like nurses doctors they they got their vaccines first or their vaccine first and then it was starting from the elder these and then going down from there but uh, currently, we are on the 50s. Am I correct? Yes, 50s. But um, because I teach at an academy, uh, Hagwon, um, I was so blessed to get this opportunity. And the teachers teaching at the academy uh, were able to get this link where we could just apply or, um, yeah, this application link. Um, online where we just write our names our personal information and then um, yeah I just got a message saying come to this place uh, by this date and time to get your vaccine so uh, yeah my husband took half a day off just to mm -hmm. take me there I'm so nervous wish me luck guys but um, yes I am going to go get Pfizer that's the vaccine I'm getting. So I will let you guys know um, how it all went and how I'm feeling over the next uh, two, three days because that's what I heard that I have to monitor my body after getting the vaccine for about two, three days. So, <sighs> so everything that I did before I got vaccinated, um, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I have been working out every day non-stop during the pandemic. I have a home gym. Um, most of my followers will know this anyway. Um, I have been drinking quite moderately. Yes, alcohol, guilty. Um, so because of that, I was more focused on um, what I'm eating over the past three to two days before getting vaccinated. Um, definitely not drinking any alcohol for like two three days before the vaccine um, drinking lots of water and um, I also tried to drink a lot of warm tea like ginger lemon tea anything that would just you know boost my immune system um, so that's what I did and did I mention lots of fluids but yes um, lots of sleep, plenty of sleep, and that's about it. So, uh, let's see how I feel afterwards. Whew. You okay? I'm, I'm not okay. <laughs> I'm seriously nervous, but we just got off the car and we're heading to the building where I'm getting vaccinated. And, um, yeah. Wish for that, guys. <laughs> So this sticker was given to us so the people working there can distinguish the people who are getting vaccinated and who are not. So I got my temperature checked more than once. First time I got there and right before getting vaccinated. Um, this might be different for some of you guys. You might get your temperature checked right before getting your vaccine. But if your body temperature is normally hot, it might be better to get a COVID test before going to your vaccine appointment. Uh, this is because my co-workers, uh, one of my co-workers actually got rejected because her body temperature was way too hot and she had to reschedule her vaccine appointment. Or you could just try to get there by car just to stay cool. But anyway, I got there at around 8.30 a.m. Everything started at 9 a.m. and I got done at around 9.41 a.m. There was a 15 minute wait after I got my shot and that was where I had to monitor my body before I am free to go home. Alright, so I just got my vaccine and 
They also gave me this leaflet where it's telling me what to do if I feel like side effects. Very handy. I'm gonna look into this in the car, but let me show you all my arm. Boom, yeah. So first shot done. And uh, going to get my second shot in about three weeks. Yeah. Hi guys. So I remember um, I was holding this out after I got my first shot and I said that I'll read this in the car but I actually thought it might be better for me to just um, walk you guys through what happened um, with the full detail where there's not a lot of people around me, I'm at my home, I'm safe and I'm not even wearing a mask. So I got vaccinated on Thursday so it's been three days. I believe right three days confirmed just now and um, yeah I, I feel great and I'm gonna be very honest with you um, I did mention this on the day when I got my vaccine I was so nervous you could see it in my eyes my face everything um, I was so nervous only because I didn't know what they were going to put in me um, in other words uh, I wasn't even sure how my body would react to this vaccine. It's something that's very new. And so I had to ask around my grandma, like my, my whole background, asking relatives, family members, how they reacted, or basically family members who got the Pfizer vaccine, uh, first and second shot. And I had to ask them, hey, how did he or she react to this? And all the answers or replies that I got were pretty much the same. Oh, they were fine. They didn't even feel any of the side effects. And so after I heard that, I was a little relaxed. I was, I was not as nervous, but still every person is different. So on the day when I got vaccinated, um, as you all saw, my husband Will drove me there because he knew how nervous I was. So when I got there, it was pretty early. I got there around about like 8.20 a.m. And uh, when I got the text message from the vaccine people or from the hospital, uh, they told me to get there for nine. So I got there pretty early only because I didn't want to wait. I had work right after uh, I, I get vaccinated. So I didn't want to wait. So I remember going there, they checked my temperature and then asked me to pull the number. And I remember specifically I was 37, which put me to surprise because I thought, hey, I got here early. I'm gonna be one of the first tens. Don't have to wait at all. But I was pretty surprised to see how many people there were. And um, on top of that, as I mentioned, it was because I'm teaching, I was very truly blessed to get vaccinated this early. Because um, currently, right now, um, a lot of people are struggling to book themselves to get the Pfizer vaccine. Um, starting from August, I believe, uh, 49 to 18 year olds get to have the chance to book themselves online to get the Pfizer vaccine. And already there's like war going on. And the website alone for, for you to book your appointment, it, it, it's frozen, literally like frozen. So I was so blessed to have this opportunity to get vaccinated, but because um, a lot of the teachers, schools were the ones to get vaccinated, it was extremely loud when I was waiting for my turn because there were students, there were a lot of students. But eventually um, the volunteers there, the volunteer workers there, plus the teachers from that school, um, they divided us with uh, people who are not from public schools because I work at an academy so I would be in that group they separated us with the kids from public schools and also teachers from public schools so we were kind of in two very different rooms so I was kind of glad that they went to another room because it was really loud I couldn't take it yeah I had to wake up at 5 a.m. and so did Will my husband because uh, we live sort of far away from where the vaccination uh, location was so I don't do early early morning so um, so on top of that I was also teaching 
after I got vaccinated. So I had to teach until 9.30 p.m. So that was another reason to why I was kind of scared of getting this vaccine. Only because, like I said, it's something new. I don't know how my body would react. And B, I was still working after getting my first shot. I didn't know if I would start slurring my words because I'm like feeling drowsy. I didn't even know if I would pass out because like I would experience like really bad side effects or even like sudden rash attacks or something. I was just freaking out. So what I did because I was so nervous, um, so I got the message on Wednesday, um, on Monday actually, yeah, Monday. And it said you're going to get vaccinated or you are signed up or booked to get your first shot of Pfizer on Thursday. So I still did have that um, days prior before getting my vaccine. So from then, the minute I got the text, I just said, okay, no alcohol, cut down on the caffeine and let's drink lots of water. So I don't drink a lot of water, plain water, because it doesn't have any taste. I hope some of you guys understand what I mean when I say this. So I would normally just drink tea or um, yeah, there's this very uh, famous drink that's sort of similar to just water and it's called hokkesu. So it's kind of like tea, I guess. So I would drink that uh, as a replacement to plain water, but just to get my body prepared and just to you know feel at ease just letting myself know hey you're you've got lots of fluids in you before getting vaccinated i also did drink plain water <laughs> so that's one and lots of greens and i do remember kind of having um lots of seafood whether it be like salmon steak or something plus uh right before getting vaccinated the night before i got vaccinated um, I was planning on eating uh, samgyeopsal because <laughs> apparently there's, there's this rumor uh, going around saying if you have samgyeopsal the night before you get your vaccine, um, chances are very low of you going through side effects. So I mean, I didn't really believe that, but I just thought, hey, why not? So I wanted to do that, but we got home pretty late that, that day. So we just ended up um, ordering cow's intestine. That's a huge thing in Korea. Uh, please don't say ew if you don't know. It tastes amazing. Come to Korea and try it out <laughs> if you don't know the dish. But uh, so moving on, um, that's how I kind of took care of myself before getting vaccinated. And then after I got vaccinated, so I'm going to show you guys this. So the people there, the volunteer workers, after I got vaccinated, um, they did make sure, you know, if I had any like prior, I don't know, allergic reactions, if I'm allergic to anything, they do go through the list. And I had to get checked twice before getting the shot. So I had to fill out a form, checking everything. And after that, I had to wait for a bit. And then I had to go talk to a doctor who would again, go through the list again and asking me again like are you allergic to anything are you taking any like medicine that we need to know about so this is like everything apart from you know those daily supplements like vitamins and omegas and omega-3 calcium and all that stuff so taking that aside like any specific special medical treatment that I'm getting so I had to go through that talk and then I got my shot and then I had to wait 15 minutes before they released me. They set me free. But before I left, yes, this is what they gave me. And, um, oh, this is what they gave me. And this is basically um, just a kind of like a, a warning, things that I need to be, be careful of. So it says, uh, wait for 30 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes, and that's what I did. Um, no drinking or working out for three days. Um, no working out for three days was a pain in the butt for me because I work out every day. I'm a workaholic, a workout aholic. So uh, that was a pain. But yeah, once you start opening this up, um, they kind of give us like a full on detail of what sort of side effects 
I might go through and when that happens, uh, what to do. And then um, right here it says when to call um, emergency, like one, 119 is the emergency number in Korea. So yeah, they give us a whole detailed sort of instructions of, or guidelines to what we should do when we um, experience any side effects. So moving on, so it has been three days and surprisingly I didn't feel any sort of side effects. And um, actually on the day uh, when I got vaccinated, I didn't feel any sort of side effects um, other than just like a little sore. So I'm left-handed, so I got my shot on my right hand or arm. So like whenever I lifted my arm up, it kind of did feel sore, but um, I looked it up on the internet where, um, yeah, they told me if you feel sore or you can't really, like you see that you can't lift your arm up as much, just keep moving it. So yeah, that's pretty much what I did. And that kind of went on for like a couple of hours on the day. And like I said, I had to teach until 9.30 p.m. Uh, so, answering to that, how did I teach? Or how did my day or night go? Um, it actually went really well. It felt like, I honestly, because I was so scared that I might feel side effects, I guess I kind of mentally prepared myself. It's me against the vaccine sort of thing. So, uh, yeah. That's what I kept thinking throughout the day, but then when I was teaching the class, little did I realize I was full of energy actually, and it felt like they didn't give me a vaccine. It felt like they gave me a shot full of vitamin and caffeine. I know that doesn't make sense, but it really did feel like that, because ever since I got the vaccine, I have been full of energy. My workout, so I started working out yesterday, which is like two days after I got the vaccine, and I didn't feel bad at all. I actually felt great working out. So um, that's what I mean by it really felt like they gave me a shot of vitamin and caffeine. So after I got my first shot, immediately I got a text message um, about my second shot. So I am going to get it three weeks later. They gave me the time, the location, and it's pretty much the same as when I got my first shot. So um, I will give you another uh, review of my second shot. So fingers crossed guys, wish me luck. Hope you enjoyed my video everyone. Now don't forget to press that like button and the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel and also please press that notification button. And I'll see you all again with my next video on my second shot of Pfizer vaccine. Bye!